first things first, we're gonna heat my oven to 375 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna start with two cups of Bisquick and I'm just gonna use this large measuring cup and one cup of water. And we're just gonna mix this together. Just wanna get it well blended. I'm gonna take my pan. I love my Christmas baking dish here. So we're gonna spray this with some just oil. I'm gonna use olive oil, that's what I have handy. Make sure this is good and coated. And we're just gonna simply pour this batter in the baking dish. And this is a nine by 13 baking dish, by the way. All right, I'm just gonna get that spread evenly. This is gonna be so good. This will be definitely one of our go-tos. We've had this once before at a party and it was just absolutely delicious. And when I was told how easy it is to make, I was like, oh yes, this is my kind of recipe. <laughs> and I'm just gonna rinse this bowl out and use it again for the next steps. No need to dirty up more dishes. <laughs> Okay, now I am gonna add my sauces in this bowl. The recipe calls for the green enchilada sauce, but you can use red. Um, my store actually had this, so I grabbed it. We're just gonna add this in. And then we're gonna add in one can of cream of chicken soup. We're gonna add two cups of diced chicken. I had a chicken breast that I had fixed earlier, so I just chopped this up. So we're gonna use two cups. And you can use a rotisserie chicken, just any chicken of choice. Two tablespoons of taco seasoning. A little bit more there, okay? And then we're gonna add some shredded cheese. And we're gonna have two cups. We're gonna add half to the mixture here, and then we'll save the remaining half to top it before we place in the oven. You hear Layla's little footsteps. She loves cheese and she sees it. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix this together. You can hear that my oven is ready. So perfect timing. We're just gonna mix this well. All right, this looks ready. And all we're gonna do now is add this to our baking dish on top of the Bisquick. All right, and we're just gonna simply just dump this on. This dish is so, so, so easy, guys. I hope you'll give it a shot. And I love, I like it with the, you know, red enchilada sauce or the green, either one. Either one is just fine with me. It tastes good either way. All right, we're just gonna spread this out. All we're gonna do next is just sprinkle on the remaining cheese. Now guys, I am using cheddar cheese. You can use any um, cheese of choice. You can combine it, whatever you like. All right, so this is all we're gonna do here. And now I'm just gonna simply place this in the oven uncovered for 30 minutes at 375 degrees. We'll be right back. And here we are, guys. Look at this masterpiece. Doesn't it look amazing? This is 30 minutes later, and this is what we're looking like. It smells so, so, so good in here. We cannot wait to dive in. I'm going to open a can of corn, and that's what we're going to have as a side, and maybe a salad. I'm not sure yet, but this is it and i'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then we're gonna plate this and i'll show you what it's looking like all right let's cut into this baby i've let it cool some it's still a little hot let's see if i can pick this up without making a mess i think i need another a smaller spatula i'll tell you what let me just get a fork there we go this looks amazing. Uh. This is what we're looking like. Would you guys try this? 
Mm, it smells so good. Let me give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes just like a chicken enchilada. It is good, guys. I hope you try this. Mmm. I need to get my corn ready. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next week, have a great one. Bye-bye. Cheers.